Today I will show you this creepy effect where you can make humans floating and melting up in the air. The first scene you need is just you walking and you're looking up like, whoa, what's going on here? And the second scene is you self are floating in the air and then we cut out ourselves in post and place ourselves up in the sky. And we can do it in front of a green screen, then we can just cut out the green screen and we have ourselves floating in the sky. Um, since I have no green screen, I will make it out here. So I will take my camera. Let me place the camera somewhere around here. Let me check how it looks. When I'm here, that... Yeah, looks good. So I place my camera so I have a, a clear background. So you can see the sky here is just all white. And then I pretend like I'm floating in the air and in post I will cut myself out with the help of the magic mask. Yeah. So when you're done with the poses, we jump right into Da Vinci. So here in Da Vinci, I've prepared my clips. The first one is just me walking and looking around. I've done the color grade a bit more darker, moodier, so it matches with the scene. And the other three clips is just me jumping up in different poses. And we take every single clip in a good frame like this one, change clip speed and freeze the frame. And we will do it here once again. This is a good frame, so freeze it. And the last one, this is a good frame, freeze it. So when you've got your main clip and all the freezes, stack them above each other and make it to the same length like your main clip. Then you should have a cake like this. This is just the freeze frame, once again, freeze frame, once again, freeze frame, and the clip where I'm walking. And with all these clips, we go to the first frame, select everything and create a new fusion clip with them so we've got all packed in one fusion clip then jump right into fusion your fusion will look like this you can delete all the merge nodes and the background node then click here on this little dot on the left one to watch which clip it is so this is a floating clip i take it up here this one floating this one is also floating. So this one is our main clip where we walk. And so I place this somewhere around here and connect it to the media out. So I'm always working from left to right. So when I plug these clips into it, they will be stacked on each other and then we need to mask them out. So I will place them somewhere around here. Then I will select here the first floating person and connect it here to the square of the media in this automatically creates a merge node and you see we have this clip stacked on this one so what we're gonna do is hit shift and spacebar and type in magic mask put it into the left viewer so you can see what you're cutting out just draw a rough line over your subject or over your person click here on better and then track it through the whole clip Once the masking is finished, you have yourself cut out in here. So with the magic mask selected, hit shift and spacebar and type in transform. So we have a transform node here. And then you can place yourself where you want it to have. Here it's about your creativity, where you want to place yourself. I want to have it somewhere around here. Looks good to me. Then we do the same thing with the other tools. We connect it here to the square, creates a merge node. This one also, put it here, select the first one, type in magic mask, put it into the left viewer so you can see what you're cutting out. Draw a rough line over yourself, better and track it. And once you've masked everything out, you can take this transform node and copy it to the other ones. And then just place yourself where you want it to have. So this looks fine for me. Now I want to have here the floating humans a bit more darker. So I select transform, click here on the color correcture, then scroll down and here on the gain, I turn the gain a bit more down until I'm happy with, with the grading. You see it's getting darker. Then just go further down until you're happy or you can do some other color adjustments, how you, you like the look. Uh, but for me personally, this, this looks very good like this, so it's not um, 
so it's not so bright we the original myself it's a bit more darker more moodier and then i'm happy with the look i just copy it over to the other one so they get darker as well and now when we play this clip this looks really boring at first because i'm just walking and they are there they're not really floating so we will animate them a little so we go here to the first frame select the first transform node and we place it a little bit more down set a keyframe on the x and y axis then we go over to the very last frame and we put it into another position somewhere around here and we can even set a keyframe on the rotation here and when we go further we can adjust the rotation also a little bit so that the whole scene the the human the floating human is is a bit moving so that gives a bit more variety and movement into the whole scene so it looks way better yeah that's perfect then we do the same thing with the other ones once again to the first frame then set the keyframe on angle and x and y axis go to the last frame Go a bit higher up and maybe a bit more rotation same thing with the last one place it on the start position keyframes last one somewhere around here so and now to give it a little bit more extra spice and creepiness we will create something like a, a melting effect and we can do it by selecting here the color corrector hit shift and spacebar and type in this place we need to have the displace node here with the yellow input plugged in make sure this is the right one then with nothing selected hit shift and spacebar and type in fast noise and then you need to plug the fast noise onto the green input of the displace node very important that this is the right order then with the fast noise selected hit on the left dot so you have it on the left viewer and now in the inspector deselect x and y axis lock and decrease the y scale and increase the x scale so we got something like this here and here you can even increase the contrast a little bit and the details a little bit we can play with these settings later on then go to the displace node and click here on x and y and then here with the Y refraction, when you increase it, you can see our body is like melting down. And this is what we want. So when you're not happy with the result, go back to the fast noise. And then you can play around here with these settings until you're happy with your melting effect. But in my opinion, this looks very good like this. Then here we do the same thing like before. I would say I'm happy with somewhere around here go to the last frame and set the keyframe here go back to the first frame and then go back to zero with this one so when we play the clip we're floating up and we're slowly melting and when you're happy with the effect just take these two and copy them over and connect it to your other clips and one little detail I want to add is the focus. So I place all this one a bit higher up because this one is way further away. So I select the displace node, hit shift and spacebar and type in lens blur. And then I increase or decrease the blur size as much as I want it to have because it doesn't need to be that sharp. It looks better when it's not so sharp and maybe your scene is different than mine and with with the lens blur you can e increase or decrease the blur size that it looks good in your scene maybe i will add this too in these scenes here because i think they are too sharp just a little bit of blur so they're not so sharp and then i just copy this one over here so and when we play this back your result should look something like this then just add some creepy music or sound effects and you're good to go i hope you enjoyed it with that said have fun creating and see you in the next one <laughs>